watching The Royal Way here on Stadium Drive Sports. Welcome, Royals Empire, to The Royal Way here on Stadium Drive Sports. I'm your host, Sean, and I'm here to talk about a sport with a ball with 216 stitches on it. There's a lot more to learn if you keep watching. As for your MLB news for today, again, the owners group and players union couldn't come up with a resolution. After a couple hours of talk, the MLB afterwards called it a step backwards. It's not good. My last episode goes more into the issues of the CBA, the Collective Bargaining Agreement. As for now, the new news is the players came up with their first proposal since the MLB canceled a couple series to begin the year. And the union lowered its request from 85 to 80 million towards the pre-arbitration case. The MLB is eyeing 30 million, and that's a big disparity there. It's about 50 million. The players are staying put with their collective bargaining tax limit at $238 million, raising to $263 million. The MLB is locked in at $220 million, climbing to $230. The union is still wanting six picks for the lottery for the draft, and the MLB has raised from three to four and then to five. Still can't satisfy the players. I'm thinking they'll meet at five. It only makes sense. When it comes to the minimum wage, the union wants 725000 with 20000 a year raises. Uh, the league is set at 700000 and raises of 10000 annually. So they got to come to an agreement on that. Plus, the players' union is fine with the penalties involving the collective bargaining tax, even though they don't exceed that limit at all too often. Uh, they're fine with it as long as draft picks are not lost. Uh, the MLB was talking about um, having a penalty of taking away your first and second draft picks and whatnot, uh, depending on how far you broke that line. I understand that there were four team owners who opposed the $10 million increase in the CBT. The Angels owner, who spends big, that Marino guy, the Diamonds back, the Diamondbacks, the Tigers, and the Reds. So it's not all Rob Manfred's fault, I'll tell you. And the issue hasn't been the fact that the owners are not paying their players. There has been a huge rise in 25 million plus contracts since 2015. There's 26 of them now, and there were only five in 2015. So players are getting paid, but it's not the young players who are getting paid. The minimum wage and the average salary has actually dropped. Uh, so the main issue is raising the minimum wage and coming together on a CBT agreement. I really hope they can work something out soon. Um, the more time that they spend, the more uh, chance there is of not even having a season at all. Uh, there's also a problem with the way teams are treating their players, obviously, by sending them down to the minors prematurely, uh, not even due to their talent or their production, but it's just in order to save a dollar. And that's whack. So it's not just money, it's the structure of the game and the structure of the way they deal with this uh, collective bargaining agreement and what it entails. Well, enough of the lockout talk. Let's have some fun and look at the Royal Way's favorite minor league team names. Yay! Let's play ball! Alright, let's get the show started with the Royal Way's favorite minor league team names about 15 of them. The Akron Rubber Ducks. Rubber Ducky, you're the one. You make baseball so much fun. The Amarillo Sockers. These unprepped poodles aren't interested in winning no dog show. The Beloit Sky Cart. Flying fishies in the sky. Who wouldn't like to see a big old carp flying through the air? <laughs> flying. The Binghampton Rumble Ponies. <laughs> These aren't little regular baby horses. They're ready to rumble. Giddy up, cowboy. The Frisco Rough Riders. No lube needed here. Did I just say that? I think of DMX. It's cooler that. Hartford Yard Goats. <laughs> My baseball brings all the goats to the yard, and their team is better than yours. <laughs> their team is better than yours. Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp. These oxymoronic big little guys will never be caught. On the Colt 5, Lieutenant Diane. 
The Lansing Lug Nuts. We're ready to rock it till the wheels fall off. <coughs> they ain't falling off. <coughs> We're the Lug Nuts. The Modesto Nuts. They bust them, and they bust them good. Say what? Yeah, home runs. Oh, okay. These guys yeah. are loco crazy. They are nuts. The Montgomery Biscuits. They're on a rise in the standings. If this ain't true, just mind your biscuits. Oh my god, it's getting it's bad. The Pensacola Blue Wahoo. When you watch these guys, all you're going to be able to say is Wahoo. The Reading Fighting Phils. Every single guy on this team is named Phil, and every single one of them can read. The Rocket City Trash Pandas. You gotta love those nocturnal raccoons making those bird sounds in those dumpsters at 3.45 in the morning. They rock. The Toledo Mud Hens. What's scarier than a hen? <laughs> a friggin' mud hen, a dirty one. All muddy, just running at you. The Belton Butt Sniffers. <laughs> Ask the Empire. Hmm. Why do police like the on deck circle so much? Hmm. The donuts. Mmm, donuts. Yeah, those weights are all donuts. Hmm. Up next, did you know? The Royals record for most runs ever scored in a single game came against the Detroit Tigers, and the final score was 26 to five Whoa! on September 8, 2004. Joe Randa had six hits in that game. And there's only been three Royals to ever do that. It's now time for the Royal Ways Jersey Number Awards. Zero through 99, we're on number one. The nominees are Cookie Rojas, Buddy Bianca Lana, Kurt Stillwell, Ray Sanchez, Tony Pena, Gerard Dyson, and Nicky Lopez. And the winner is... Cookie Rojas. <laughs> Cookie was born March 6, 1939 in Havana, Cuba. He got his nickname from his mother who called him Cookie meaning adorable or charming. All right, all right, I'll add honorable mentions to the numbers. And for number one, it's Gerard Dyson. And this segment on the Royal Way is called Through the Years. we we'll take you through 1969, 2022, we're on the 1970 season. The Royals in their second year finished the season 65 and 97, fourth place in the AL West. They were managed by Charlie Metro. 1933 got fired and was replaced by Bob Lemon, who went 46 and 64. And here's a look at the defensive setup in 1970. One of the additions was Amos Otis in center field, took over for Lou Pinello and moved over to the left. And center fielder Amos Otis was the only Royals All-Star in 1970. Opening day 1970, we played the Oakland Athletics at Municipal Stadium on April 7th. 18,127 attended on a 78 degree day. But sadly, the Royals lost that game 6-4. The opening day starting lineup had Pat Kelly leading off, followed by Mike Fiore, Amos Otis, Bob Oliver, Lou Pinella, Luis Alcaraz, Jackie Hernandez, last year's All-Star Ellie Rodriguez, and pitcher Wally Bunker. Run scored was 611. That was the worst in the majors. Bob Oliver had an all-right season with 26 home runs, 99 RBI. Left fielder Lou Pinella, 301 average. Pitcher Jim Rooker had 10 wins, and pitcher Bob Johnson had a 3.07 ERA, which led the team that year. It's trivia time. What type of animal did the 2016 Royals rally around to help them win 18 of 22 games? It's a praying mantis. 
Brought in for another win, and he got him 18 out of 22 times. The Royals found that little bug in the dugout while playing the Detroit Tigers on August 15th. It passed away peacefully in its sleep at 314 at Lakeside Nature Center. On November 2nd, 2016, 958,674 were in attendance during the funeral. Most of them were probably bugs. Who remembers that rally mantis from 2016? That final run with Kane, Moustakis, and Hosmer. We almost made it to the World Series again. It was a fun year. Speaking of fun, we're having way too much fun here. We don't want to overload it. We got to take a break, go to commercial. When we get back, we'll play a game of Guess Who. Hey there, I'm Kevin, host of the 12th Man at Arrowhead Drive. Be sure to tune in every Sunday and Wednesday for all your Chiefs content right here on Stadium Drive Sports. Ooh, do you like cookies? Hey, if so, you've come to the right spot. I'll tell you what, the Kansas City Royals used to have a player on their team named Cookie. Everything is so sweet here on the Royal Way. So eat it up here on Stadium Drive Sports. Welcome back, Royals Empire. It is time to play the game, guess who? I'm currently the hitting coach for the Atlanta Braves in the National League. I've also coached for the Royals, Diamondbacks, and Blue Jays. I played mostly third base. I was drafted by KC in 1983. My full rookie season was in 1987, in which I was an all-star. I wore the number 33 for KC. I went 323 on average, 15 home runs, 207 hits. In my rookie season, I had a six-hit game in nine innings. That's right, two home runs and seven RBIs on August 2nd of that year. I finished right behind Mark McGuire for Rookie of the Year, led the major leagues in hits, singles, and at-bats. I hold the Royals rookie records in games, singles, walks, extra base hits, the 56 tie with Carlos Beltran. You can sharpen your skills at Mac and Blank practice facility in Martin City, Missouri. I am Batman. <laughs> I'm Kevin Seitzer. Hi, right, Royals Empire. It's time we've reached the segment to where, uh, well, I've talked to my computer. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, the Stadium Drive Sports installed this new computer program. Uh, I guess it was unveiled on the Combo Show, I believe, and I guess I'm supposed to ask it some questions. It's like Siri or Alexa or whatever, some smart computer program. Uh, I don't know. I'm reading the email right now. What's that say? Statistical Transponder and Telecommunications Bot. There we go. Dang, this thing needs an external hard drive, that'd be. Holy crap. Hello? Hello? I gotta read the instructions. This is Adam, creator of blah, blah, blah. I have attached an audio recording to officially Activate stat bot. All you have to Penichi wa Watashi wa stat bot. What did you just tell me? Ugang ki disuka. Oh, oops. I just powered down. Crap. The heck was it saying? Dang, it has a whole lot of languages. He knows Latin. Oh, it was on Japanese. Okay. There we go, English. Statbot. Hello, I am Statbot. How are you? There we go. I am configuring you. Kiate. <laughs> oh, that went back to Japanese again. Look. There we go. English. Statbot. Hello, I am Statbot. How are you? I am great. How are you? I am satisfactory. Thank he you. He sounds polite. Let me try this. No me conozco para. Ah. I was just wanting to play play with it and tried Spanish. I'm having fun with it now. Panichi wa watashi wa stat bot dudes u gang ki I don't know what it said. Were you talking in another language? Si. Ha ha. I can change your language. My default is Nihongo. I have oh. the ability to automatically adapt to the English language. What in the hell? 
Hell is a place regarded in various religions as a spiritual realm of evil and suffering, often a place depicted no, I mean, as a place of perpetual I mean, what the fire hell? What? beneath the earth. Shut up! Hey, it worked. You understand? Shut up. Hell is a place regarded in various... Were you trying to be sarcastic? You will never know. Oh, great. He's so smart, he's a smart aleck. Great. I can have you automatically respond if I hold down... Read manual before using. Oh, I can have you automatically respond or... If I hold... I'm still trying to figure this out, guys. I'm gonna have to wait and do this later. Warning, for your safety, please... Oh, shut up. I'm done with this thing. I'll figure it out later. I apologize in Royal's Empire. Uh, we'll wait till next episode and we'll talk to Stat Bot. Kanichiwa. Watashiwa. Hang on, I turned you off. Watch, dude, Shut up. Dude, gang. Off. Alright. It activates if I say its name. Alright. Well, thanks for watching the Royal's Empire. I've been Sean Barr and you've been great. Stay tuned next week as I present another edition of the Royal Way on next Monday. Uh, not doing Thursdays until the season starts. Uh, Rob Manfred, just blame him. He's a punch bag. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I uh, don't want to forget. I'm starting a replacement league. We're going to take over the MLB. So if you want to play baseball, we can make it happen. Just send me a comment down below or send me an email to stadiumdrivesports at gmail.com and we can do it. 100,000 strong protesters. Might have to include bugs. But, uh, hey. Keanu Reeves did it. Uh, Adam Sandler did it with football. We can do it with baseball. Let's cross that picket line for him. <laughs> hey, catch me Monday. Thanks for watching again on the Royal Way here on Stadium Drive Sports.